Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this week's video, I asked you guys on all of my social medias what you wanted to see me do. I gave you a few different options that I kind of already had planned out and you guys basically decided unanimously across all of my social media platforms that for some reason you just really want to see what I eat in a day. Can you guys hear that? I don't know what's happening, but something is happening outside. So fortunately for me, I had actually started filming a what I eat in a day video quite a while ago. So I've had this footage on my camera since probably around the time when everyone was freaking out and saying that they couldn't find toilet paper and the world was just a crazy mess. Not that the world is much better now, but the point is that this was quite a bit earlier in quarantine. Everyone was kind of having trouble finding the food that they wanted in stores because everything was sold out at this point. So that's kind of around the time when I decided I wanted to do a what I eat in a day video just to kind of give you an idea of what I can make myself with what I had available. So I filmed the process of me making a breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal, but then I never got around to doing a voiceover or an intro for that video. And eventually I just kind of gave up and forgot about it because I figured nobody would really want to see it anyways. But then I found the extra footage on my camera and I decided to ask you guys as an option if that was something that you would want to see. And like I said, to my surprise, it was basically unanimous that that is the video that you guys wanted. So I'm just gonna give you guys a voiceover of the footage that I filmed oh so long ago in quarantine and you guys can basically just get an idea of what I ate when there wasn't really much to be found at stores and everything was kind of sold out. Also I know that for a lot of what I eat in a day videos people will kind of go throughout their day and just eat when they want to and film themselves eating but I'm not gonna do that because I already have to listen to myself talking when I edit and that's bad enough on its own so I definitely don't want to have to watch myself eat for hours at a time while I try to edit my way through this video. But I think that's basically all I needed to say before we get started, so let's just get right into my quarantine breakfast meal. So for breakfast, I basically just made this version of a breakfast sandwich that my mom used to make for my sister and I when we were younger. I started off by buttering the pan instead of the bread itself because I forgot to take the butter out of the fridge before this video, so it was rock solid and basically impossible to spread on the bread, so I figured it would be much easier to do it that way, but essentially I just started off by making a grilled cheese sandwich. Two pieces of bread in the pan, cheese in the middle, definitely not rocket science, but once I finished with the grilled cheese itself, I actually opened the sandwich back up and start adding some mayonnaise, which I know I'm gonna get some hate for. Unpopular opinion, but I honestly love mayonnaise. I think it's delicious and it adds to most things. Another unpopular opinion, iceberg lettuce is absolutely the only type of lettuce that ever needs to exist. It is the best lettuce out there and I will honestly fight anyone who tells me otherwise, so I will always add like a whole tower of lettuce to my sandwiches because I am mildly obsessed. So once I'm done with that first part of the sandwich, I just go ahead and make a a fried egg and honestly I can't help but laugh when I watch back this footage because I could not see what I was doing at all. So when I go to add my seasonings I add some garlic powder and pepper which is usually what I add to my eggs and honestly basically everything that I make but I couldn't see what I was doing so the garlic powder is definitely just like right in one area and nowhere else on the egg. All I can say is that I tried my best and you know what it still tasted good so I'm not even gonna worry about it. But once that egg is all cooked I basically just add that on top of our little leaning tower of lettuce here, top it off with the second slice of bread, and there we have our finished breakfast sandwich. So moving right into my lunch, I know this is going to be kind of boring, but I basically just made a simple salad. As we already discussed, I am Iceberg Lettuce's number one fan, so obviously that's going to be the base of my salad, and I know that a lot of people take the time to cut up their lettuce into little pieces, but I don't really get the point of that, so I always just tear up my lettuce. I'm not going to lie, the lettuce looks kind of gross in all of this footage, but you're just gonna have to ignore that because it's literally only because I rinsed it off beforehand just to make sure it was all clean and it's still a little bit damp while I'm ripping it up and putting it in the salad so it kind of looks slimy and gross but we're just gonna have to try to overlook that fact. I would also normally add much more different types of vegetables to my salads but obviously like I said this was earlier in quarantine most places weren't even open to get food from and it was kind of hard to find some of the produce that I would normally use so 
So unfortunately, this is probably gonna be a bit of a plain salad, but I tried my best with what I had. So I started off by cutting up some green beans and throwing those in there, and then I also added some cucumber, mushrooms, apples, and then finished it off by sprinkling some sunflower seeds over the top. So you'll start to see me prep those and add them in as we move along, but like I said, I usually have a lot more ingredients in my salads when I have full access to produce and stores, so if I was able to find them at the point in time when this was filmed, I probably also would have added artichoke hearts, which I know I would probably also get a lot of hate for that as well, but I am obsessed with artichoke hearts. Same goes for black olives. I know a lot of people hate on black olives, but I love them and I think they taste really good in a salad, so I probably would have added those as well. And then I also usually add some avocado, onion, and tomato, which also reminds me that on my breakfast sandwich, I would normally mash up some avocado and mix that in with the mayonnaise to make kind of a sauce, but again, I couldn't find any avocados. So sometimes you just need to make substitutions or try to work with what you've got. But getting back to my salad, I don't think I actually showed me putting dressing on it in the video, so I have no clue which one I used, but I can tell you that I'm basically 99.9% .9 certain that it was either ranch or Italian dressing because those are the two that I almost always use on my salads. But moving into my dinner, I basically just decided to make some very simple vegetarian tacos because like I said, I still don't have very many ingredients that I would normally use. So I started off by buttering a pan because obviously, as you can tell, I have a tendency to use excessive amounts of butter in everything that I make. And then I just added in some fake vegetarian taco meat. I've definitely tried a couple different brands when it comes to this meatless ground beef kind of stuff, but I don't remember exactly which one this was. If I remember correctly, I think this one is called Guardian Meatless Grounds, but I honestly can't remember, so definitely don't quote me on that. I will say that of the brands I've tried, I definitely haven't found any that I don't like, so I guess it doesn't really matter either way since I don't have much of a preference, but I think the one thing that makes a huge difference when you're making vegetarian tacos if you're using a fake meat like this is to season the meat with with taco seasoning because let me tell you it makes all the difference. When I was making these, I added some taco seasoning, garlic powder, and pepper, and I honestly couldn't tell the difference. I haven't been a vegetarian my whole life, so I do know what ground beef tastes like, and I think it has a little bit of a different texture, but I also haven't eaten any meat in like probably three years at this point, so I could be wrong, and honestly, I don't know. But regardless, it is delicious either way, so I basically just cook up all of those meatless grounds in some butter, add my seasonings, and then I add a thin layer at the bottom of each taco shell. Once I have that first layer of fake meat down, I add some cheese on top of that. And then of course, each taco gets its own layer of the one, the only, iceberg lettuce. Is anyone surprised at this point? Honestly, I don't know what it is, but I just have a mild obsession with iceberg lettuce. It's delicious, it's crunchy, it's like 90% water, what more could you want? But once I'm done worshipping my layers of iceberg lettuce, I added some fresh homemade salsa that my mom made and canned for me. This stuff is absolutely delicious, and I know a good majority of what's in it came from our garden, so it was all canned fresh. I think there's like tomatoes, corn, onions, maybe some peppers, I don't know exactly what's in there, but all I can tell you is that it is absolutely delicious. And then once the salsa is on there, my last step is just to add a little bit of sour cream on top of each of my tacos, and then my dinner is all complete. All right, I apologize if that wasn't the most entertaining video, but honestly, you guys voted for it, so that's on you. Obviously, like I said, this footage was from much earlier in quarantine, and my diet has definitely changed and will probably continue to change as time goes on, so I do plan on making an updated what I eat in a day video probably once the whole pandemic is over and I have full access to all of the foods that I could ever want. But honestly, as of right now, I don't see that happening anytime soon, so I'm just gonna end this video here. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below to become a Tori Dactyl, and leave me a comment letting me know what I should do for future videos. As always, I'll leave the links to my social medias in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!